Fayetteville, Arkansas, the place to be on a sun splash. Sunday afternoon at Bogle Park for a top 20 showdown. It is the rubber match. Number 11, Mizzou. Number 19, Arkansas. What has already been an eventful weekend here in Fayetteville. The standings tell the story just one. She can protect that pitch often, but when she goes there, it's useful. Knocked down by Halverson over to first, not in time, and an infield hit for Laird. Leads things off for the Tigers here in the top of the first. Back on a spring day in early April. And the 2 1 slow roller over to first. Ellis up with it quickly. She'll get the out there. Advancing to second is Laird. Up to bat. Popped up shallow center. Racing. Halverson can't catch up to it. Here's the throw over to third. And in safely is Laird. Advancing to second. In the meantime is Gallagher. Anderson said she's in the lineup to drive in runs. Perfect opportunity here. Hitters count. Walked her on four straight. First walk issued by line stock. And now the bases are loaded for. Zone. It's a game of chess. Hey, two hits on the weekend. Rolls to Camel over to first in time. And line stock escapes. The Tigers leave them loaded. Johnson's one for seven in the series. Has scored a run. Nearly 400 near the top of the order. At the top and a strikeout. Johnson swing straight through it. Getting poised. Popped up, shallow center. And drifting over from second is Gallagher for out number two. The Razorbacks. And the bulk of her production coming in league play too, hitting over 450. Straight away center and Honnold tracking a one, two, three frame. Four. So just an all around efficient day from Mizzou's staff and a, a laborious day, I think, for Arkansas in the circle. Off speed, hard of the plate and strikeout number two for Morgan Leinstock. 2021. It was in the show me states. Strikeout number three. Now four in a row retired by Morgan Leinstock. Payoff pitch on the way once again. High and tight to Langer. Ball four. Linestock thought it was a strikeout. And instead, she issues her second walk. At first, she does have good speed. And softly hit to second as Halverson retreats to retire the side. Came into the weekend hitting 4.15. Straight up in the air. Almost in the middle of the circle now drifting over. Daly makes the grab from third. Four to one ball game going into the seventh. Swatted right field over the head of Langer all the way to the wall. Campbell dives into second safely. And a fist bump. Campbell does it so well. Kylie Halverson. Pops it up softly to short. Easy play for Laird for the second out. Rubber match between Arkansas and Missouri. Winner of this game will take the series. Swat it over to first. Knocked down beautifully by Hay. She'll step on the base. 3-0 the count. Line stock out of the zone again. And Honnold aboard for the first time today. On four. Softly hit to short. Retreating was Priggy and a double play. Obviously changes the entire complexion of this inning. Maybe this game. Line stock the strikeout. Her fourth. Hating to sit between both. You got to pick a game plan. Out in front. Down on three straight. Awkward swing over to Hay, who dives. Made the tag on Priggy. A full extension there. Seeing the pitch calling of Courtney Dyfel. Hit to Daly, who makes another great play, but the throw is wide. Johnson racing for second. Will get there easily, and with two outs, the Hawks have another runner in scoring position. Well, Daly did a great job to track it down quickly at the hot corner. And knew how she had to twist and turn to get the ball out.
she did it quickly. Yeah. And by the time the ball got to first, Johnson was already there. And Gallagher is ready and waiting on the first swing. Coach Anderson indicating to us before the series, Katie really wants to be in that four hole. Sharply to Gamble, up with it quickly for the first half. Now making her seventh career start for young career. Sharply up the middle, stabbed by Briggy, off of her knees, not in time. Play two, they elected only play one. Speaking of how they're trying to change things up, Gamble again over to first. Not in time to turn two. Anna Gamble, torque, I'm thinking a oh, lot yeah, of torque. Oh yeah, the torque for sure. It's softly this time to Gamble, and she is up to the challenge once again. Hay aboard with one out. It's right in her backyard. Surely the supplies will not run short. Surely not. Ella sky high, all the way back to the track and reaching out. Wow. What a play. Dodge reels it in. This is sky. This is a rise ball that is absolutely launched into the sky high. I mean, not a cloud in the sky. This is a tough ball to read for Dodge. She finds the wall. This is textbook outfield right now. Combined is still 18 bases. It's sharply to Daly for the second out. You got to tip your cap to Mizzou defense because they are holding. They know that this game means a lot to both of these teams. It's a must win. Separated by just a game in the SEC standings. Foul territory, the shortstop layer calls off daily to retire the side. Coaching staff, and that's been really important to her. Payoff pitch over to third through the wickets into left field. Langer aboard on a tough play at the hot corner. And the leadoff batter reach Langer. This time swinging away. Off of line stock over to Camel. And advancing to second in the process is Langer. So a lot happening there. And line stock appears to be, quote unquote. She said it's respectful. Served into center field. That'll get down for a base hit. And Mizzou grabs the early lead at 1 0. Hoddled comes through in the clutch. Well, Honnold had a lot of impact in game two's win with a home run and two RBI, and now striking first blood here with the RBI single up the middle of the field, just over the glove of Priggy at shortstop. Linestock potentially rubbing the ball in the dirt a little bit. Soft liner, center field, and there's Johnson. Diving down, makes a clean grab. Here reading, this is the toughest ball to read where you've got to come straight forward to decide. Am I going belly first on the dive? Am I going figure four? Am I seeing this ball down? And she makes the correct choice to glove this ball for the out. Only given up three total runs through nearly 12 complete innings. And another strikeout. Let the the game come back to her. Hammer, deep left field. The wind's gonna push it way out of here and we're tied in one. Eighth home run of the season for Kylie Halverson. Right on cue, the aura that she has in the game right now, it's exactly what Courtney Dyfel told us about the evolution of this season for Kylie Halverson. She pressed early in the year, swinging uncharacteristically out of the zone, just pressing at the plate and has allowed the joy of this game to find her again. And that was about as free and joyous of a swing, I think, as ability. She's played first, she's played second, played well both positions. This one given a ride to deep right field and Arkansas takes the lead. Nia Carter. First home run of the season. Were we timing her rounding the bases? Because I think she sprinted. <laughs> I think she sprinted. Place is going 
hog wild right now. This is an elevated pitch up in the zone. This is a missed location from McCann. The adjustment that Courtney Dyfel wanted from this team was to elevate the ball. But Aaron, a little surprised we haven't seen more of that kind of action today, given the conditions. Sharply deep in the hole, it's short layer, fields and fires. First out, the back of the box. And wisping towards right, Priggy hits it towards left. Who wants it? Left fielder does, that's Dodge. It's been special out there this afternoon. That'll bring us back to the top of the order with two outs. Go one carom off of line stock. Circle. That one gets through. And then off the back of Johnson trying to get to first. And let's see. I thought Crenshaw may have caught that cleanly. Apparently she did not. This is a tough one because Reagan Johnson does own the runner's lane. And you're trained. If you're racing to first base, you're trying to get in the way as you're watching first base receive that ball in hopes that this may happen, that you may intercept the throw. I, I am confused here. Right now we see the call on the field is out. Courtney Dyfel also Courtney Dyfel is, wants to know. Yeah, she is not happy about this call. Hammer straight away center playing it that one perfectly was Reagan Johnson. I'll be talking about that. I'll be talking about that. That was for a one long of the time. coolest things I've seen in a long time. Off of one hop to second, and Halverson was there. And it's been exactly what Coach Courtney Dyfel hoped for. Crowd comes to life in the 2-2. Did she offer? She did. Strikeout number six. And Miller, heart of the order. The Razorbacks. Hits softly to shallow right, battling the sunshine. Will be Langer. For the first out. A rare sight to see. Upstairs, Ellis is aboard with one out. First it's the bite there. Eight pitch of the at bat coming. Back-to-back -back pitches I thought that were very close to touching the zone. Instead, back-to-back -back walks. Big pitch for Krings on the way. Lofted into right field. That's down for a hit. Saki rounding third. The throw home is cut off. And there is the insurance run for the Hawks. It's three to one. With that A-B right there. That just comes down to patience for Hannah Gamble, not being too eager at the plate to swing. She takes two strikes and then gets challenged on the inner corner. An inside out approach keeps the hands tight to the body, hits behind the runners. That is just high IQ seniority hitting right there. The approach is unmatched. And the one, two down the left field line and that is fair. Cloud comes home to score. The throw back in quickly, and now runners at second and third in Arkansas. Not in front, four to one. A double and a home run. Seeing the ball so well. Halverson from the right side, a swing that just sweeps through the zone with so much ease. This is low and in on the corner, and she's able to barrel this ball down the line for another RBI. And all Still only one out. Right back to the circle. And they'll throw home. And a rundown ensues. Gamble dives back in at third. And the out is recorded on the tag by Daly. And standing there as well as Halverson. In the midst of all that, Dodge races into second. Fly ball shallow left, fair territory, and a nice play by Lair diving down and turning away, grabs it cleanly. Hogs get some badly needed insurance. 
This team has it. They've got the gas in the tank. Line stock, another strikeout. Langer up the middle. Briggy, two away. I don't know who the SEC Pitcher of the Week is going to be after this week, but line <laughs> stock. To third, Camel. Arkansas wins it and claims the series against Mizzou. Four to one, our final score. First win for the Razorbacks against Mizzou in six years. The series victory is theirs. This top 20 showdown, what a weekend it was at Bogle Park. Just a huge, huge win for Arkansas. 100% going to be a weekend that will move the needle for the Razorbacks and line stock. Unbelievable outing. Something you build upon. That This is going to take her through the rest of SEC play and into the postseason.